disengaging from that fear and taking that step, uh, uh, the step of um, faith or something it's called. I don't remember what it's called, but when you walk into, you know, into something that you really want to do without um, fearful programs taking over. And sometimes what we can do is force th things through, even though we haven't processed the fears, um, and become rebellious, yeah? So, ah, you know, I don't care about all these people. They can go and do whatever, and I'll do my own thing, you know? And that's its own little firewall. That's its own firewall. Uh, so just stepping into ourselves and centering that knowingness, con reconnecting with our higher self and Gaia and stepping into that life that we really, really want to have, I think um, it's the hardest at the moment. Um, there are things that keep pulling us back. There will be people who will infuse fears or barriers and stuff like that. Um, we had a really interesting conversation with uh, Larry the other day because um, for this event and the prices that we set for both the, it was, I, I observed it, it was really interesting because when we set the price for the event at $1,500, uh, Larry was like, oh, you know, that's too much or something. And then um, as soon as I said, yeah, but it's, um, it's for the Shaman Shack. And he was perfectly fine after that. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, we can really start funding our the structures, you know, pay for the uh, annual rent because he's going to pay it. He's already decided to donate that amount and pay for it. That's $10,000. He's quite willing to donate for it, right? And um, But for people to support it, right, in we 1000 or whatever it's going to be that after all the costs and fees and everything come out of it, that was like, whoa, no. But it was like, okay, as long as we weren't keeping the money, you know? And then for the virtual one, 87 a day, or 222 for the three days, he was like, oh, that's way too much, you know? And then he said, oh, wait, that's going to the Shaman Shack too. That's great. You know, we can really create a structure there, workshops for people to come. If they want to come, they can support themselves. They can have somewhere to work and they don't have to worry about stuff and all that, all those things, you know? And I looked at it and I thought, oh, I see. So for me to spend months working on this, preparing the information, uh, working 24-7 and everything, and I get the money and I say, actually, I want a new Mercedes and I'm going to spend the money on a new Mercedes. It's not okay. But because it's going to the Shaman Shack and I'm not going to see a penny of it, that's perfectly fine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so that's one of the um, firewalls that, uh, mean that okay you can work for all this stuff that supports others and if you enjoy it great that's all you need to get out of it but if you want to use it for the enjoyment of your physicality right really enjoying uh, your physical incarnation here um, then that's not okay you know what if I used it to take me and Daniela to Costa Rica again you know <laughs> And that's not okay. <laughs> so those are some of the firewalls. Um, and also on the other side of it, for example, a person, a man or a woman who really wants to do that event, really wants to come and immerse themselves in the information and the group and make connections, then all of a sudden, oh, um, it's okay to spend 1,500 plus another 1,000 or 2,000 to get there. Uh, uh, so let's say they were spending $3,000 to get here or $4,000. Um, if one of their kids needed, I don't know, um, money to pay for uh, uh, music, lessons or they needed to buy a new fridge in the house because the old one is not big enough you know they needed a bigger one um or go for a holiday vacation to mexico or costa rica you know uh, then that's okay 
yeah because the whole family is going or whatever it's actually if you take the whole family it's going to be more like ten thousand dollars right um but to spend three thousand dollars or four thousand dollars in their own passion and experience experiencing this place and experiencing being together with other individuals that are interested in the same stuff oh no 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 don't go there that's not okay right as long as because why because it's for him or her what about the kids and what they need what about the spouse what about oh you know the brother or sister or whomever right it's not okay at all so yeah there's um, the firewalls of where we spend our monies or how we spend our monies and um i actually don't have any need to buy a new mercedes i'm very happy with the one i have <laughs> i don't have actually have any desire or need to um to have or spend anything and that's been one of the strange things about or maybe strange but are quite awesome things that I've had that energy of not needing and always, always knowing that I'm fully supported. And if I ever do go around and go, oh my God, I have got to have that in my life, it happens, you know, and I get whatever I need to get it. So um, that's a really interesting part of it. I don't really even need to um, think about it, it just happens. And um, so that's one of the firewalls, I think, that what's correct, what isn't. And with regards to creating um, the Shaman Shack as a center for supporting in any individual who decides to come over here um, and also to support the land, um, that was also interesting because I said the Global Ascension Center, you know, we can really move and shake things around and have the Global Ascension Center support the Shaman Shack. You know? Really go in there, start this uh, empowering individuals to be here to uh, support themselves, structures where they can come in and be able to support themselves and um, get the land you know, and all that stuff for the Shaman Shack and be connected with the Global Ascension Center. And he says, no, 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 no. He said, uh, it's the other way around, the Shaman Shack and everybody who comes here are going to support the Global Ascension Center. You know, so it's like different perspectives and different views of seeing things sometimes can get in the way of um, really stepping into your empowerment. So having a look at everything come, that comes up and actually conversing and discussing, and that's why we have the platform, the forum as well, because we can really brainstorm and look at different viewpoints um to look and see what's going on um so yeah i think that that's one of those things instant manifestation uh manifestation with stories behind them 